hi guys how are you guys doing so i was in the car driving back or getting you know getting a ride back to my location and i was in and out of sleep so i was dozing off waking up dozing off waking up and it was nighttime it wasn't late but it was more like around like 7 p.m ish around there and i was really tired you know those sleeps where you're just so tired you you're like your body's extremely tired but you, you're like alert spiritually alert to know okay i'm in the spiritual realm now okay i'm awake in the physical now okay i'm back in the spirit again okay i'm awake in the physical now like when if you're like if you're a seer you'll understand <laughs> you'll understand um so as that was happening the lord said a bunch of things to me and i remember every time he spoke i would like open my eyes a little bit take in what he's saying and then go back to sleep open my eyes again take in what he's saying again and go back to sleep and one of the things he mentioned was they hate you because you answered the call that was so deep when he said that and i knew it was a word i knew it was a word because he pushed me to wake up early today to get settled to get dressed and to really like take my time to get to a place where i can really think straight and you know feel relaxed to give you guys this word but i want to just say this Many of you guys that are going through a lot and you're noticing that you're going through consistent attacks over and over and over again, whether it be from friends, whether it be from family, whether it be from colleagues, whether it be from anybody, strangers, you have to understand something. People know the difference between who is a fake believer, who doesn't really have a relationship with God versus who truly has the Holy Spirit, who truly has a relationship with God. People are not stupid and people know the difference. People are not stupid. And those who have the Holy Spirit, there is a specific presence about them and there is something that is just undescribable about them, you know? And what ends up happening is that when people understand and they see that you have this light, there's an instant hate. They will hate you. And again, it can happen with anybody family, friends, strangers, it doesn't matter. When you're around people, that will happen to you if they know that you have the Holy Spirit, if they know that you truly answered the call. Now, I'm going to describe the difference. Because the Lord was talking to me about this. After I got to my location, I was getting ready and getting prepped for bed. He was talking more to me about what he told me in the car. And he was saying basically that there's some people that first, like there's a scripture that says many are well, many will speak about me from their lips, but I'm far from their heart. As in, they don't truly love him. They just talk about him. They like the idea of saying, I follow Jesus. They like the idea of saying, I'm a Christian. They like the idea of saying, I could speak in tongues, or I have gifts, or I this, or I that. They like that. They like the title. They like the idea. They like the attention it gives them. They, they like, you know, like the authority they feel like they have. And then they put on this image. But truthfully he's not in their heart truthfully they don't have that relationship with him truthfully they never really answered the call they didn't really answer the call either he may have called them and they didn't answer or they haven't been called and they're far from he's far from their heart and they just they just they just give themselves that authority position basically they give themselves that title they tell themselves okay i want to be here it's almost like someone you know faking it till they make it you know someone pretending to love god in hopes that just them saying it and them knowing the bible and saying and speaking the bible and it's like almost like they feel like that's going to open the door for them to have that access that those who are called and those who are chosen and those who have the Holy Spirit within their heart, that access that, the whole, that they get from the Holy Spirit. It's like they want that same type of access, but their heart is not open to it. So they feel like they can jump the fence to get in. And I talked about this the other day when I said that God gave me a scripture from John. I think it was John 10 verse 1. Don't quote me on it. Either John 1 verse 10 or John 10 verse 1. And I said that in that scripture, many were jumping the gate instead of going through the gate. When you jump the gate, it's like 
you're calling yourself a prophet, you're calling yourself an anointed, you're calling yourself a Christian, you're saying you love God, you're, you're, you're putting yourself in these positions hoping that you can get what it is that you want out of it, but you really don't love God. You really don't love the Holy Spirit. You really don't care. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I'm not talking about you guys. I'm just giving you guys that analogy, right? To let you guys know the mindset of some of these people. So many, that's what you'll notice that majority of the people that do attack those who are called and chosen by God, you'll notice that those who are called and chosen by God will get more hate from so-called or fellow Christians than an average person that is not of the Christian faith. You'll notice that. Why do you think, and, and here's the thing. You can be around someone that's from a whole different culture and belief and they won't even hate you. They'll love you. You see what I'm saying? You can be around someone who doesn't have a belief or who's just not walking with God and they, they may hate you, but it won't be as intense as someone that is claiming to love God or someone that's claiming to be a Christian. And this is why you'll notice majority of the witches that attack you guys, they're heavy in the Bible. Majority of the witches that, you know, are paying spiritualists overseas, they're the ones in the church jumping up and down and pretending they have the Holy Ghost, but they don't. They're the, that's why you guys would be like, man, this makes no sense. Like, how are you in the church, but you're cursing me? How are you in the church, but you're telling me, you're cursing me and telling me word curses and up over my life. Like, how are you in the church and you're speaking downfalls on my life? How are you in the church and you're paying someone to do voodoo on me? How are you in the church and you're paying a spiritualist to kill me? Like, how are you in the church doing all this? Like, don't you have any you know, decency, don't you have any, you know, it's almost like, don't you have any, I don't want to say class, it's like, don't you have any respect, it's like, how could you be in the church doing all this, and you know why they're in the church while they're doing all this, because they don't respect God, they don't love God, if they loved God and they respect God, even if they were that kind of person, even if they were that kind of person, right, they would be too afraid to do it in the house of God, in a church, you get what I'm saying? But the fact that they're not afraid to do it and then go to church the next day and, and pretend, it means that God was never in their heart and he's nowhere near in their heart. So when someone likes, like you comes along now, right? And remember, imagine a person that just wants to jump the fence. They don't want to go through the gate like everybody else. They want to jump the fence. Imagine someone like you getting called you answer the call, God opens the gate for you, you come through the gate, and you start doing everything that God instructs you to do while you're through that gate, you're being obedient, and then he takes you from being called, and he anoints you and crowns you into a chosen. And then those who jump the gate, they're, they're putting on this image, and they're studying, they're studying the Bible, they're going to church every Sunday, they're putting on this image in hopes that that's going to open the door for them to receive it but God knows their heart and God knows the only reason why they're showing up in church and the only reason why they're studying the Bible is because they feel like if they do all this they're going to receive that shortcut they're going to receive that access but their heart is so unclean and they truly don't love him but they think just because they do that they're entitled and that's why you'll notice there's so many witches and warlocks in the churches and they pretend and that's why they're so comfortable in the churches because they feel like just them doing that is good enough. No, that's not good enough. You need to have God in your heart. You need to have Jesus in your heart. You need to have the Lord in your heart. You see what I'm saying? So when someone likes you come along and you actually love God wholeheartedly, they know. They instantly know. They instantly know. They know. And that's why many of them attack you guys. It's not only because your purpose, your destiny, that's a part of it because that's ex exactly why they chose to study the Bible and that's why they chose to, to follow God in the first place is because they want, they want a, a, a destiny that is filled with all the things that they desire, but they don't even truly love him. So they're only in it for themselves. They're not in it because they love God. You see what I'm saying? And God knows this about them. God knows their heart. So when you guys get called, it bothers them because imagine... Let me just tell you something. Imagine seeing someone that has the access that you are trying to jump the fence to get, but you jump in the fence, you didn't receive it, 
but you see someone that you know that has that access or that has that gift or that answered the call, it's almost like, in a sense, it's like a how dare you, right? And the thing about it is that it bothers them because it's because God called you. It bothers them because they thought they were going to get that easy access, right? And it, they didn't get the easy access because the Lord knows they jumped the fence. And the Lord knows that even after they jumped the fence, he's still not in their heart. They still don't truly love him because behind closed doors, they go into church, put this image on, but behind closed doors, they're attacking people. They're trying to curse people. They're doing all the things that are detestable to the Lord, but they're claiming to love him. They're claiming to follow him. You see what I'm saying? And people don't understand, but let me tell you something. If you want that type of access to God where he's directing your every footstep and he's, he's wholeheartedly leading you where there's no, basically there's no blockages or there's no restrictions or there's nothing literally holding you back from hearing him and accessing him, your heart has to be good. Your heart has to be good because you have to understand something. The Holy Spirit is the fruits of the Spirit. So if you're not operating through the fruits of the Spirit, you cannot have the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit's not going to dwell in someone that does not have the fruits of the Spirit because that, that's going to be very hypocritical. The Holy Spirit will not reside in an evil person. The Holy Spirit will not reside in an evil person because the Holy Spirit does not tempt people to do evil. The devil tempts people to do evil. So... This is why many of them dislike you is because you answered the call. You didn't pretend to answer the call. You didn't pretend that you were called. You didn't pretend that you were chosen. You wholeheartedly answered the call. And many of the people that are upset at you are the people that thought they can jump the fence and sit in the church all their life and that God was going to call them that way or God was going to choose them that way. But God knew that the whole time their motive was they just want a de they just want their destiny to be fulfilling. They just want the rewards of being a child of God. But they don't understand that being a child of God is far more than just rewards. Like, you have to be obedient. You have to be upright in your heart. You see what I'm saying? You have to, answer, you have to wholeheartedly answer the call as in, like, you're letting the Holy Spirit lead you in every single thing, in every single aspect of your life. And you're no longer living for you you surrendering your life to god completely right so many of the people that are attacking you guys that's why they're mad they're not mad only because of your destiny they're mad because you actually answered the call god called you and you said yes again i'm not sure if god called them god may have called some of them and they ignored him god may have called some of those friends that you had in the past and he, they ignored him God may have called the family and they ignored him. They continued to do their wickedness. God may have called some colleagues and they ignored him. And because they ignored him, they may not have been able to have that access. And not only that, they could easily have that access back with God. But many of them, they just don't want to change. They just don't want to change. You see what I'm saying? Um being upright is so important. People don't understand the importance of that. Like, that is the key. That is literally the key. And I stress that to you guys all the time because I notice that the people that don't have that type of access, they're not cleaning the heart. And I notice that those that do, they're extremely gentle, loving, caring. And I'm just like, wow, you know? And I can see the difference. That's why I said those who attack you guys or you know, that know you have the Holy Spirit, it's obvious. They know you have because they can see it in you. It's not anything that is hard to detect. The Bible says that if they, if they hate you, remember, they, they hated God first. They hated God first. A lot of the, like the Pharisees were only in it for the image and how they look and what they can gain from it, right? They were, that's the only reason why they were in it, because they didn't love God from their heart. They didn't. They like to pray publicly. They like to fast publicly. Like they just want to show how much they know and how knowledgeable they are about the laws and everything like that. But they were lacking love. They were lacking humbleness. They were lacking humility in their heart. They were lacking it for a clean a clean heart. They were lacking that, and that's what I mean when I say a lot of these people are attacking that are attacking you guys. They're lacking a clean heart, and they hate the fact that God called you and you said yes and He picked you. That's why they're frustrated. 
right? You have to remember the Pharisees are the ones that even killed Jesus. They're the ones that set him up to get killed. Does that sound like does that sound like people that have a good heart? No. These are the very same people, like the very same people that are in the churches, that are in your family, that are in the churches, that are in your friendship groups, that are in the churches, that are just in regular public churches, that want the Holy Spirit, that hate you because you're called and chosen, but they don't want to change. They're doing exactly what the Pharisees did. They're operating from the same spirit, and then they want to get mad at you for being obedient. You see what I'm saying? For being obedient and for genuinely loving God wholeheartedly. And one of the things I could tell you guys is if your life stays the same today and you're still being attacked for the rest of your life, hope not. And, you know, you don't see any changes. Will you still love God or are you going to curse God? That is a big question I got to ask you because let me tell you something. God knows what you would have done. You see what I'm saying? See, God knew that Peter was going to deny him, right? But God also knew that Peter was going to repent and change his ways. You see that? God knows that some people, they will literally deny him if things don't work out in their life. And they will stay denying him. And they will stay separated from him, right? God knows all these things. God knows if you're actually the kind of person that if you don't get your way and you don't get what it is that you want, if you're still going to love him. God knows that. Some of these people be like, yeah, I'll love God if I don't get this or I don't have that or I don't have that. But then when God puts you through a test, like Job, you're cursing him. I understand that life is hard and life is difficult and we get attacked. I go through it all the time too. I go through my Job moments too, right? But... Through it all, the most that I will do and the most that any of you guys should do, the only thing you should do is is pray against what's going on in your life, but also just ask God why it's happening. Instead of cursing him and getting upset with him, just ask him. That's what Job did. Job didn't curse him. Job didn't turn his back on God. Job even said that if his life was to stay like that and things were to continue happening like that, he would still love God the same. And that is why, that's what I mean. Like, that's, that's how God knows who truly is going to be loyal. That's how God picks his chosen. I'm keeping it real. That's how he picks his chosen. Are you going to stay the same, if th- are you going to stay the same, like, love-wise for God if things are not right in your life? Or are you going to change on him and say you hate him and dislike him and all that stuff and just stay like that? See, it happens where some people get church hurt and they get led astray. And they may get into things, but they still love God. They still love God. Like, they're still praying. They still love God. And then there's people who get church hurt. They, they're led astray, and they never turn back to God. But guess what? God knows the outcome of everyone's life. God knows if you're going to be led astray and come back. Or if you're going to be led astray and you're going to stay away and ignore him. He knows. He knows. You see what I'm saying? He knows. He doesn't have to look at a resume like an employer where he says, okay, the resume looks good, and I'm just going to hope for the best. No, he knows he can see the resume, but he can also see if you're loyal. If you're loyal. And if you truly love him. You see what I'm saying? There's people out here who are, who are not walking of the faith, who are not, you know, following God, but their heart is so pure. The heart is so pure. And you'll notice that some of these very people, they get called and they get chosen and they've never stepped foot in the church their whole life until they get called and chosen. And people wonder why and they get mad at these people. But, and they're like, I've been in church my whole life and God never called me or God never chose me because their heart, their heart. So I'm sharing this to let y'all know that the reason why many hate you and dislike you is because you answered the call and you are loyal to the call.